What's going on, nerdlings? What up, nerdlings? All right, coming up next is the entire Branson Con 2020 cosplay contest. And what a contest it was. Oh my gosh, there were so many amazing costumes. And shout out to everyone that was in the contest. Even those that didn't participate in the contest. We love cosplay. We yes. always love seeing you guys. And you were all so amazing. A couple of things to note, though. This was at Brancicon 2020, which was at the Welk Resort Theater. This is a really nice theater for bigger stage productions. Yeah, it's really meant for more like a big musical concert type thing. Not quite conducive for an intimate costume contest where the costumes are going to come kind of right at you down like a runway. They, the costumes are a bit washed out. It's really kind of hard to see the detail in them because the lights were just too bright. Yeah, those and, big stage lights. Yeah, the big stage lights and the spotlight. You know, they, they were trying their best to let, make sure that you could see them, but unfortunately, the lighting made it to where you couldn't really see the costumes very well. So we do apologize for, for that part of the video. That and the stage itself, it sets up really high. It does. So if you're up close, it's way up here, but if you're farther back to where it's even... That's fine, except then everyone's far away. Yeah. So we do apologize to you guys that we did not make you look as amazing as you look. But we do still hope that anybody who watches, please drop some comments down below. Give us a timestamp yeah. of where you were in the contest because we would love to say hello to you again. And one last time, amazing job, yes. everyone. Again, our heartfelt apologies that we didn't make you guys look better. But please, enjoy. To be hanging out with all of you fellow geeks and nerds. Now, Tim, Josh, let's break it down. Let's tell them exactly what's going to happen because this is one of the largest cosplay competitions in the country. Ladies and gentlemen, if you were part of the workshop this weekend, you know the man. He is the Foam Master. Some might say that he's forged in foam. Please welcome to the Welk stage, Foam Master Bruce Holtz. Make some noise! Woo! I know the name. I've seen the costumes. I'm thoroughly impressed, and they need to have a permanent home in New Zealand. They make the Lord of the Rings look really good. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the woke stage, Cullen Cosplay. She has been an organizer. She is cosplay extraordinaire. You've seen some incredible costumes. She's been hanging out, doing a lot of work over the weekend here at Branson Con 2020. Let's see if we can get her to pop out and say hello. Please welcome to the world stage, Jen Greeley. Now, Tim, we have seen this next duo, and it's really cool because they have traveled really across the country, Kansas City, every place in between. They're full of feathers, but they're also full of lots of fun. Please welcome to the Welk stage, Don Crawfeather! <laughs> Cosplay royalty, man, I'm telling you right now. My favorite bird's of prey, that's for sure. I think you need to run down, tell them about these prizes. Let's get into that real quick, because there's a lot of money that is going to be going to our winners tonight. When I say lots of money, we're talking thousands of dollars. And when Josh says thousands of dollars, what he means to say is $5,000 in cash prizes! $5,000! Guys, we've got some amazing prizes going out tonight. Best in show will walk away tonight with $1,000. Master level level first place will walk away with $1,000. Second place with $500. Novice level first place will walk away with $1,000 as well. Second place in novice will be $500. Heading on down to best exhibition, we got $200 prize. Best youth under 12 years old. Best youth is going to walk away with $100. Best Youths 13 to 17, 200, and Judge's Choice 500. 
Now, the best juice of repurposed items, they're going to walk away tonight with a $50 gift card, which I think they can use to repurpose more items. It's like you, what you find around the house, find around the garage. Come right over here with me. All right, Brands and Con, you ready to meet the cosplayers? Yeah! Are you ready to meet the cosplayers? Yeah! We've got over 60. We're going to bring them out for you. DJ Kid is going to be spinning us some tunes. Let's get right into it. Tim, you got the first honors. Go ahead and read them off. All right, guys, please welcome to the stage Matthew Clark and his character TV51B Power Armor from Fallout. Make some noise! One of my favorite games. I'm up on stage. Look at that. Make some noise for Fallout, folks. Doesn't matter how much armor, he's got the moves. I like that, one of my favorite games. Who doesn't love Fallout? Oh my gosh, that's amazing. Judges have got a tough choice right here, I'm telling you what, that is an incredible use. All those materials. All right, coming out on stage, make some noise. Number two, Christina Renfro, her character, Sophie Hatter. And you might remember the anime, it's Howl's Moving Castle in the novice category. Beautiful dress, and I can only be envious of the amount of hair that's on display there. Now, guys, our next guest, we're welcoming in Beth and Madison, better known on Branson Con as Poison Ivy and Bay. Breaking the stage and breaking the bat. She's poisonous, she's deadly. Next up, coming to the stage, ladies and gentlemen, Branson Con, make some noise. Caden Shell, representing the character Skellington, the Nightmare Before Christmas in the youth category. <laughs> Let the judges see you, Skellington. Coming next to the stage, we have Alexandra Madam who is bringing on the fastest here at Bradscon, Sonic the Hedgehog! Woo! It's the Blue Blur! Still in theaters in a box office champ, Sonic the Hedgehog. All right, welcome to the Branson Con stage, Carson Van Hoosier, Calamon Buto, original character. It is Star Wars related. I'm thinking maybe a little bit of Sith action right there in the novice category. Let's see some of those lightsaber skills. Coming next to the stage, we Purple have lightsaber. Harmony, better known as Negan. We are all Play nice, we know exactly what'll happen with Lucille. How's awesome. Clint these days? You okay? He is. He is. He is. I just work here. You've got a date with a ball bat, my friend. All right, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage. I'm loving this one right now. Robert Lake, representing the King Elvis, Sarah Presley in the master category. Who needs a gold maid suit right there? Wow. Coming next to the stage, we have Stephanie and her character, Queen Beal. Make some noise! You gotta love the hair and the magic and the staff, all of it, complete package. I remember when you used to have hair like that. Okay, we don't talk about the wigs. Come on now. Next up, welcome to the Branson Con stage. Make some noise for Ashley, representing her character, Oogie Boogie. This is Nightmare Before Christmas in the novice category. Going to the Branson Con stage next, we have Garrison and his character, Ken Kimiki. Oh, Capoeira. Watch that cell phone. Woo! iPhone is no match. 
You actually used to move like that. That's pretty impressive. Welcome to the Branson Con stage, Kaylee with her character Broadway Scar from Disney's The Lion King in the youth category. Wow. Coming up next, wow. we have Keely and her character Loki. The most mischievous god in Marvel history. Welcome to the stage, one of my favorites. Jason, make some noise for Jason and his character, the Scarlet Spider from Marvel. Loose chain, whatever that was, flying on the stage, fights. Batteries. Double nice. A. Yeah, nice. Guys, I'm excited to welcome the Merc with the Mouth. Give it up for Brandon and Deadpool. All right, one of my favorite heroes, of course, saving the day. Make some noise, welcome to the stage, it's Alice representing Captain Marvel from Marvel. Is that not the cutest Captain Marvel you've ever seen? Everybody say it once. Aww. <laughs> Coming up next to the Brands Con stage, we got Dahlia and Joker. Ooh. No joke about it, that is one beautiful cosplay right there. All right, scary movie, we gotta love it. Two chapters, as a matter of fact. Please welcome to the stage, Kyron, representing Georgie from the movie It. Can I say, give him a hand. We all float down here. That was bad, that, that was really bad. I thought it was funny. I lost my spot. Guys, please welcome. We got our friend Jim and Joker. Oh, I'm liking the spin on this. Look at the purple. Don't smell the flower. Don't get too close. Woo! Look at that. Please welcome to the stage. Make some noise for Lauren. And she represents Battle Armor Elsa from Disney's Frozen. Make some noise for that costume work, wow. Guys, make some noise from our good friend Lily and Wonder Woman. Here she Put your hands together, Wonder Woman at Branson time. Red, blue, and the stars to match, how about it? No match gets stars. You're gonna be seeing this in Wonder Woman 1984, really loving that. Please welcome to the stage, Audrey, portraying Gold Wonder Woman from DC Comics. The Lasso of Truth and the Wingspan of Max. Coming up next, we have Helen, bringing one of my favorite characters to life, Wednesday Adams. Dark, gothic. They're creepy. They're kooky. They're all together ooky. Yeah, it's Welcome to the stage, Lily representing Hiyoko Sinji, Dengen Rumpa. Those dialect classes really paid off, Josh. I hope that was right. Coming up next, we've got Katie portraying Anna from Frozen. My favorite queen. Always love Anna. Welcome to the stage here at Branson Con 2020. Jennifer as she portrays Morticia Adams from the Adams Family. Wow. How about that, Branson Con? Make some noise. If she starts speaking French, I'm done for, Josh. <laughs> you might as well prepare yourself, buddy. Steal my heart. Coming up next, we've got Corbin as Doctor Strange. Stephen Strange. Complete with the eye of Agamotto.
David Eddings would be very proud right now. Please welcome to the stage, Taylor, representing Tiny Tina from Borderlands. <laughs> Guys, make some noise for Serena and Sun Eater. All right, friends and con, make some noise as we welcome to the stage Josiah, portraying D and D Knight from Dark Souls: Dungeons and Dragons. The cosplay contest just went full metal. Show us those sword skills. Abraham better walk out. Watch out because we've got Gina coming in as Negan. Woo. Don't ask her how Glenn's doing, okay? Seriously, don't do that. Don't do it. It's funny the first time. It's too soon. All right, Branson Con 2020, make some noise. We welcome the stage Finn, representing Dave Skirter from Homestuck. Can you spin those? You can spin those. Coming up next, we have Joey and Chloe Five. Bring it on! How about that, Branson Con? Branson Con 2020, welcome to the stage. Brent Lee with Celestial Angel, an original character in cosplay. Evan Lee. Heavenly, original, and awesome. Coming up next, we have Chris and Albanite from Dark Souls. Oh, wow. Dual swords and everything. Wow, look at that. Branson Con 2020, welcome to the stage. Samantha portraying BB from Mystery Skulls. Coming up next, <laughs> he's got a little red on him. We've got Jeff and Logan from Shaun of the Dead. <laughs> Woo! Nice, nice guys, nice, very nice. All right, Branson Khan, make some noise. Welcome to the stage, Ashley. Now is that, I want to say Poison Ivy, that's not Poison Ivy. It doesn't look like Poison Ivy. That's the Thor, that's God of Thunder. Thor from Marvel. Lebowski Thor. That's Lebowski Thor. The big Lebowski. And coming up next, we've got Rob the Batman who laughs. Oh, I'm loving this. I'm loving this. Put your hands together, Branson Kai 2020. Wow. Swing those chains. Woo! You're far enough back, you're all right. Let's put a smile on that face. Wow, goodness gracious. Samantha and Jamie coming out to the stage. Well, I think now we got our list. We're ahead of the game just a little bit. We've got Steve here. And coming up. Right behind Steve is Gorilla DeVille coming up on stage. Oh, Gorilla DeVille and Blue Sluice. Oh my gosh, look at this, look at this. Gorilla, no. You're not supposed to mess with the Dalmatians. Leave Blue alone. You leave Blue with me. Yeah, you can hand Blue over to me. I trust you with the puppies. It's the man we never <laughs> Coming up next, we've got Jay. And his cosplay, Doctor Who! Make some noise for the doctor! That's a favorite professor right there. Taya and Mallory coming up to the stage next. Rogerina Lolita, Queen Lolita, fashion in the youth category. Coming up next, we've got Brandon as Jim the Troll Hunter. No troll is safe. One of the most epic series watched 
cast on Disney Plus, you'll know the name. Please welcome to the stage Eli portraying the Mandalorian from Star Wars. This is the way. Indeed, the way. Going on next, we got Kyler and Lincoln as Team Rocket. And coming up next, please welcome to the stage Sabrina, representing Zerxa from Overwatch. Oh, my favorite, my favorite character. Love me some Overwatch, but I love this next character too. Oh my goodness. Give it up, folks, for Dwight and his Predator. Oh! Oh! That is an alien. <laughs> It's using the trees. It's using the trees. Joe God, that would be very proud of us. All right, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage. Make some noise for Michael portraying Ursula from Disney. That is the coolest looking Ursula I have ever seen in my life. What do you think about that, Branson Khan? Wow. for Trinity and Winnie portraying Toka and Dobby. Woo! How about it, Branson Con? Up next on the Branson Con stage for a cosplay contest, make some noise, Branson Con. Welcome Lawrence portraying Green Arrow, issue one, original. Coming up next, we got Curtis and Sherry, Mighty Python, and the Persian Bay. Ooh la la! Oh yeah. Bring out your dead. All right. Welcome to the stage. I've seen this cosplay. I'm so excited to announce it. Please welcome up Destiny, portraying everybody's favorite bot in Claptrap from Borderlands. Now complete with the David Edding signature. Awesome, doesn't get any better than that. Guys, coming up next, we got Pardon as Bumblebee. Woo! Make some noise. <laughs> All right, Branson Khan, say it with us. Aww. Aww. So cute. <laughs> and Branson Khan 2020, make some noise on the stage. Welcome, Sebastian, the Joker from DC Comics. And coming up next, we've got Minda portraying Ursula from Disney. I know the Ursula, that Atlantic Con 2020. Stealer of voices and more. Wow. Oh, big no, yeah, sing no way. Mm -mm. You're, you want to sing? Okay. <laughs> all right, so here we go, Branson Con. How about all those cosplayers in the contest this year? Let's make some noise for them! The judges have got their work cut out for them. It's going to be a tough choice, judges. Bruce Holt, Cullen Cosplay, Jen Greeley, and also Don Crawfeather will be making their choices. But first things first, Branson Con, have you had a fun weekend so far? <laughs> you think about all of these costumes that have been out here? A lot of work has gone into it, a lot of organization has gone into it. First off, I've got to see if she's in the house, because if she is, to give you an idea of some of the master work of Bruce Holt, if she's anywhere close by, I'd love to have her come up here so you can see her costume. Is Devin Blankenship in the house? Is she here anywhere in the theater? I'm kind of blinded, I can't see her, but if she is, I'd love to have her come up here. Devin, 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 where are you? Bruce, if we get Devin, we'll make sure we give her her due because that costume is fantastic. I need you to tell everybody real quick about this costume that Devin has on because if they haven't seen it, they need to know. Okay, this is a commission that uh, Devin and Brian brought to me um, for the Witching Hour Wonder Woman. And they gave me my, just go ahead. It has over 80 hours of foam work on it, leather, um, airbrushed, there is 
112 rivets and like I would say there's probably over 40 buckles on this thing and, and the shield is made out of EVA foam backed with a new product that I'm working with um, and it's a uh, flex material and it's also hand painted uh, with, with like um, a chrome paint for one you've got airbrushing detail and also the grunge work that I love to do on mine. And anybody want to do a costume, believe me, everybody can. I believe it, I started when I was 14. And Devin's costume was one of my favorites because it just let me go dark. Let's hear it for Bruce Holt. You know, we gotta, we gotta give some more special thanks. We do, Josh. I really, I really want to bring the two of them out here. Hopefully he hasn't gotten too far away, but I really want to go ahead and bring out Hard work going on behind the scenes to make this con possible. So if they're close by, Branson Con 2020, make some noise for both Andrea and Daniel Smith. Come out here. Come out here. Come out here and see me. You got to come out here, young lady, because uh, well deserved rest. Make some noise for Andrea. First off, how are you feeling, young lady? Because this con weekend has been awesome so far. We've got more fun tonight and into tomorrow. Oh, yeah, absolutely. We're not finished yet. Um, so tonight we have the VIP screening for Kevin Sorbo. Tickets are still available for that up front. And then after that, the after party at the Grand Plaza. And then a whole day worth of fun tomorrow. Okay, so I think I'm really curious about this because it's kind of like, you know, Mark and the Billion served on a McDonald's banner on Highway 76. But when it comes to putting on a con like this, do you remember how many meetings you had in the run-up to Friday? It takes an entire year to put on three days worth of work. Um, I'm not even exaggerating. Um, we work so hard on every little detail to make sure our guests enjoy every facet of the convention. You guys enjoyed yourselves? <laughs> Has a year's worth of time paid off or what? <laughs> wow, young lady, you're awesome. Thanks for coming out. We love you. How cool is that? Brian O'Neill, obviously. We have to recognize Brian, we have to recognize Levine Cunningham, we have to recognize everybody on the Branson Con staff, our volunteers, everybody putting in the long hours to make sure everybody is safe, they know where to go. You guys like that concept of the whole service nerd? Have you heard about that before? Yeah, it's, uh, it's trademarked. It is trademarked, is it not? Don't forget your mic. It is. And Branson Con, make some noise for DJ Kid. We're gonna let him spin up some more music while we're waiting on the judges' deliberation. Hit it, Kid! I need you to get on your feet. I need you to make some noise. If you want to dance like Kira Kira, you can do that too. But I believe we are ready to go. Branson Con 2020, please make some noise. Welcome them here to Branson Con. It is Kira Kira Springfield.
So how long have you guys been performing together? Who's taking the lead on this question here? I guess me. Uh, about three years. Okay, so, so three years. Now, I want people to know, like, can they, how do they become an honorary member of Kira Kira? What, what's the audition process like? So actually, we have an opening right now for a full-time member as well as alternate members. Um, we have a link to our application on our Instagram and on our Facebook and on our actual website, kirakirasprinkle.com. Okay, so now, once they're in, once they become a full-fledged member of Kira Kira, what I want to know is, I, I've been at cons, you guys have been there, I've never asked you this question, what is a day like in the life of Kira Kira? So what are the parties like? What is the diet like? Tell me about that. You'll be surprised it's like an average Joe kind of life. A lot of us are in school or have jobs, but we do have practices uh, once a week, sometimes twice a week if we have an upcoming performance. They're usually about two hours long and we work really hard. Okay, so there literally is a lot of cardio burned, right? All right, ladies. So obviously we've talked about the audition process. People know how to get inside Kira Kira now and become a part of the troupe. What I want to know is, and they want to know, how do they stay connected with all things Kira Kira? Where do they find you guys on the web and social media? Facebook at Kira Kira Springfield, Instagram at Kira Kira Springfield, Twitter at Kira Kira SGF, and of course www.kirakirasprinkfield.com. There we go, Branson God, make some noise for Kira Kira Springfield. <laughs> Let's check in with the judges. Let's see how we're doing over here. They're, they're getting closer. They are getting. Is this the finalized list, Jen? Is this is this it? Is this is this the final list? It's the final list. Okay, so now you know your deal. You gotta come up here and help us with these announcements. This is your part. You, you are being dismissed by Colin Cosplay, so. Tim Church, Jen Greeley, come out here and we are going to reveal our winners. So Jen, I've gotta ask you, I mean, tell me about this first because this really has become one of the largest cosplay contests in the country. How do you feel personally about giving out all of this cash money? This is a big deal. It is such a big deal, but you know what? That's because this area has the best cosplayers. Brand yeah. Yeah. The yeah. best cosplayers in the country. Creative, talented, amazing, fantastic. They're all here. That's why. That's why it's the best thing to give them all these awards. And we have a giant group that did it. Woo! All right. So now, yes, yeah, a, a huge group that huge did this. Group. Giant. So, so, Jen, do we, do we want to start at the top, or should we start at the bottom? I think we should start at the bottom. I think we need to build momentum. Let's build momentum. Let's start at the bottom. Now, the I'm going to refer to you as Dr. Greeley, and I'm glad you're up here, because okay. some of these I can read, and some of them I can't. So, oh, no. let's start at the bottom. This is best use of repurposed items. Now, this is up to me. It's a $50 gift certificate. Is that correct? It is. It's a $50 gift certificate to... Bruce Hall, forged oh, in Bruce. foam, the foam master, the legend yes. of cosplay. Legend, absolutely. And it goes to... This one is going to go to, now we, we, we announced it, we want our winners to come up here and line up, is that we right? Do. Yes. We do, we want, want them that? to come right up over there um, at the stairs. And, the stairs, uh, yep. all right. Best use of repurposed items, Branson Con 2020, make some noise for Ashley as Oogie Boogie. Oogie Boogie. Enhancing that creativity and getting to work alongside Bruce, that's going to come in really handy. Some awesome accoutrements to cosplay. Oh, there we go. Light it up. As only Light it up. can provide. Teddy, you're up next. All right, guys. Up next, we have Judge's Choice. Oh, you know what? That, that, looks, that looks like a kingly choice. A I'd very kingly so. choice. I'd say so. Folks, give it up for Judge's Choice. Elvis! Elvis! He's a king, man. He's a king. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. 
Hello. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. No, he did that better than me. Hang on, Elvis. I need you to do that for the audience because they're going to love that. Go ahead and go ahead and give me some Elvis. Thank you. Thank you very much, man. Here you go, Brandon Todd. All right, let's see here. Now, Jen, oh. I'm going to need you to need your translation. I'm sorry. Okay. Let's go with best youth. Best youth. Lily. And we cannot pronounce your anime name. Hiyoko. <laughs> Lily. I got the first name right. Yay. Yes. Indeed. Congratulations, Hiyoko. Best youth. Best oh, now this one, youth. Tim, this one you really, you really liked a lot. Best youth under 12 years. Winner in that category here at the Cosplay Contest. Guys, give it up for Destiny as Claptrap. Come on up, Destiny. That Claptrap costume was uh, awesome. Where's our little Claptrap at? We're going to have to really, we may need some help getting up the stairs, maybe. Just be, be careful coming up. There come we on go. The stage, guys. Yes, come make back sure, over make sure. here. There's no hiding. Yeah, you got to come out on stage. Right here. Let everybody see it. Uh, Claptrap. Hey, Claptrap. <laughs> Look at this. Well then, under. Can you carry that baby? She's gonna carry it. She's gonna make it happen. You're my favorite minion. I can't do that as good as David does, really. Best exhibition. You guys know this one. Box office champ from the weekend. Huge movie. Broke the video game curse. Let's welcome Best Exhibition winner, Sonic Alexandra Madam. <laughs> what? I'm not saying that. Don't say that. Okay. All right. You ready for this one? Ooh, now, I like this one. This is Novice Second Level. Winner, Novice Category. This one is terrifyingly awesome. Okay. Don't terrify you about it. I love it. Bloopler. <laughs> hey, Sonic. Taking home the novice level, second place is Michael with his Ursula. <laughs> Come on up here, Michael. Wow. <laughs> that paint is going to be hard to get off. That's all I got to say. <laughs> I believe I've got this one right. He has been nice. Michael, well, you're looking good, man. I'll tell you what. Wow. Unreal. Can you do something different. <laughs> the white hair is natural. That is, oh, that is natural? Wait a minute. The honeymoon? That, you got white. You know, when we're walking all over Orlando, oh my God, 10 days of Disney. I'm, I'm about to. <laughs> Coming back from Orlando, you're not supposed to have that. You, dear. <laughs> he's getting, Loves you. He's getting brownie points, obviously. Okay, novice. Level one. This is novice level one. Please welcome to the stage our winner. It is Carson with Star Wars. Come on up here, Carson. We love that costume. Great piece of materials. Great color. And of course, you cannot beat a purple lightsaber. Now remember, if you need, Jen is your translator. I think I got this one. I hope I do anyway. I'm sure you got it. You got it. Master second level, our winner in the category, master level second. Is Lauren Battle Armor, Armor Elsa. Frozen! Guys, guys, let it go. Let it go. Just, yeah, let it go. Just let it go. Let it go. <laughs> Into the unknown. It wasn't funny when you did it in the movie theater. Don't start singing. It wasn't funny at home, but it's not funny here. Okay, I got you. I'm with you. Oh, that was awful. Sorry. <laughs> okay, so I gotta, I gotta ask. So how long did it take you to put this together? Honestly? Honestly. No fibbing on the Branson Con stage. Never. I would never. No fibbing. Ten days. Branson. Oh, oh, ten days? That is awesome. Ten days? Woo! Wow. Impressive. Can, can you teach me that kind of stuff? Wow. Try. <laughs> she can try. I can be taught. I'm, I'm not too old yet. Master level one. Master level one. Please, Branson Khan, welcome to the stage. Sabrina as Zarya. 
Wow, come on up here, Sabrina. Oh, no. Oh, no. Let's get physical. I just don't notice the shirt. That's awesome. No, that's a lot of hair there, girl. No, just let it go. Let it go. No Olivia Newton John at Ransomcon. I have a pretty singing voice. Sweating to the oldies. Oh, okay. For this one, can you read this one? We might need help. Jen. Oh, sorry. Come over here. Oh, that's some interesting writing, isn't it? It's cryptic. <laughs> okay, guys, you ready? Make some noises. We're about ready to announce Best in Show. Big money winner at Ransomcon. You ready for this? You guys ready? Yes. You got the answer. Alba Knight! Alba Knight! Alba Knight! Alba Knight! Where are you? Oh, yeah. Here we go. It's Ransomcon. Best in Show for the Cosplay Contest 2020 Alba Knight. Oh, yeah. Dark Souls. Can you get the uh, the award up there? there. Best in show, two hundred dollars. Okay, do you, do you have anything to say? Do you have a shout out that you want to give to family? Uh, any cosplay advice? Can you talk through that helmet? Let us know what you're thinking. Yeah, you just gotta praise the sun, collect a bunch of souls. Yeah. Praise the sun, collect a bunch of souls. Woo! Twenty twenty. All right, Jen. What do we got? We got we got them all. He had his, his walker. walker with him. He forgot his trophy. <laughs> yep, yeah, leave that down. It's, it's a miracle! miracle. <laughs> it's a miracle! Okay. All right, cosplayers, Branson Con 2020, make some noise. This is our cosplay contest. All the cash money, all of this talent on stage is absolutely incredible, you cosplayers. You guys make these cons Woo! extra special. Conventions like this are not conventions without cosplayers and fans. We love you guys. You are awesome. Jen Greeley, any parting words here? Well, I do have some final words. Yes. Um, like you alluded to, I am a bit of a translator. So Craw Dawn Feather um, wanted to let folks know what their favorite one was. They were so excited about Shaun of the Dead. So they love Shaun of the Dead, and they just wanted to say, um, so that was, they love Shaun of the Dead. So I think, good job, guys. Great family cosplay, too, which is always important. Jen, I think we need to have our cosplayers come up a little bit closer to the front of the stage. You guys need to take a bow. You need to let these folks get some pictures of you, make some noise. Let them give you a well-deserved ovation. We also want to get some words from Bruce Holt. Bruce, you got a mic? There we go. All right. Um, as just mentioned, the Shaun of the Dead was um, our... Come up here, guest judges. The love the Shaun of the Dead. Okay, they're not coming. Anyway, since they, they chose that, and I have the convenience because I own right, the yep. leather. Because of their judge's choice, Shaun of the Dead, I'm also going to give you a $50 gift certificate to the leather booth to go up and pick out some leather. How does that sound? How does that sound? Let's hear it! Yeah! Let's hear it really straight cosplayers. Thank you, Bruce Holtz. And I want to say thank you to Colin Cosplay as well. Great judges. Don Crawfeather, Jen Greeley. Yes, Jim, go ahead. I did want to say something. These cosplayers up here were phenomenal. But I do want to say, and I know you touched on it a little bit, all of these cosplayers that competed were phenomenal. And there were some people who were a little nervous, and I'm so proud of them that they got out here and they did this, because it's scary to get out here in front of people you don't know. And I just want to say that everybody did an amazing job. The little, the little youth, all the way up through everybody. I was so proud of them, and they were all fantastic. The problem with the judges is they have to choose, and we want everybody to win, and everybody is a winner. There's just only so many prizes, but everybody worked super hard. Like, great job. I am so proud of everybody. Yay, let's give another hand. Woo! All right. 
Grand Sacon 2020. Don't forget, Lenovo Events coming up here at the Grand Plaza Hotel here in town. It is our Branson Con party. So make sure you've got your tickets in hand. It's the ultimate party of the year. Yes, Money Mark will be there and all of your friends. We want to see you at the Grand Plaza party. So as our cosplayers leave the stage, you get to have fun. You get to make a ton of noise. DJ Kid, you got some more tunes for us. It's your stage. And we, we were... All of, our, all of our cosplayers, come on up to the stage, all of our cosplayers. Whether you want or not, come up to the stage, you want to get a photo. While DJ Kid spins this out, come on cosplayers. Everybody in costume, we want you up here. It's your stage, your time to shine, let's get your photo. If you're in costume, come on up to the stage. are totally acceptable. Wednesday, Morticia reports to the stage. Come on up, cosplayers. Everybody make your room up on the stage. Hey everybody, let's kind of get together in the middle. It's hard to take a panoramic picture here. <laughs> everybody who can kneel, kneel in the front. Shorties, come on in the front. Come on, please take a little, take a little knee. There we go. All right, go right in front, baby. You look great. All right. Okay, everybody smile. Smile cosplayers and pose down for the camera. There's the perfect center please to the photo right there. Keep those poses up, cosplayers. Let those photos fly. You know, I never thought in my life I'd see Deadpool taking photos. He's breaking the fourth wall, ladies and gentlemen. It's the photographer. Keep it up, cosplayers. Let everybody get their photos in. If anybody in the audience has seen Georgie's hand, please return to the stage. Players, you're free to go. You're done. Thank you and congratulations to all of our winners at Branson Con.